Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will share with you how you can create or design your own Microsoft Word notes. Also, stay tuned because I will show you how you can download and on how you can have a copy of the template. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first thing I'm doing here is downloading some fonts from FontSpace. I will flash on the screen the fonts I've used in the notes. You can download this fonts first if you want to have an exact copy of the template. You can just search it on the search bar, then click install. After you download some fonts, go to colorhunt.co and look for the palette you want. So here I will be using the digestive system topic for this tutorial and I will just use the information from this website. I will now open Microsoft Word and the first thing to do is to go to the layout tab and then on the margin section, click on the narrow option or you can set your custom margins. Next is to go to the size option and choose the paper size you will be using. You can also choose your preferred column. It's either you will use a two column or one column note. And now we will start creating our notes. You can place your draft notes on the other side of the screen so it will be easier to navigate. Here I'm starting on the title of the lesson. Just input your title on Microsoft Word, then edit the format of the text. Here I'm using the Grestel script demo font and place the text on the center. You can now apply a font color. I will then apply an outline to the text. Choose a darker shade and adjust its line thickness. I then apply here a shadow on the text and then click on the small icon at the corner so that you can further add and adjust the text effect. I just made some adjustments here. Next, I decided to add some shape and just format it by changing the fill color. You can also place text on the shape. You can add the subject or the date, then just adjust the font and font color. I will duplicate the shape, adjust its size, and you can now start placing your notes. Here I just added a photo. You can easily copy an image from the net and paste it here on MS Word. Choose the tight drop text option and then adjust the image size. For header 1, I chose here the Beatrice font and used the color from the palette. You can also adjust its darkness a bit. Repeat the process by copying and pasting the header 1 and placing your notes under it. I will set the notes font into Avenir Next LT Pro. If you want to use the header 1 style, duplicate it, then paste the header you want to include. I just added here the table and adjusted some of its styles. So here I added another row at the top and then clicked on the layout tab and click on the merge cells option. Adjust its shading and then I placed the title here. So if you want to change the color of the borders, go to table design then pen color so i chose the white option so that the top border will be transparent i'm making some adjustments and i just continued adding some more notes you can also add a shape and then add the text inside it change its shape color adjust the text inside it and you can also add some shadows to the shape I'm using a darker shade of pink for the shadow. Depending on your preference, you can add different header styles to your notes. Here I then add a shape beside the header style. Another style or design I did here is a different font on the term and changing its text color to emphasize it. I will repeat this until I add all of the indicated parts. You can also adjust the line spacing to save more space. And here I added another shape, placed it on the side, and changed the wrap text to a tight option. 
format the shape, place the text or notes you want to include inside the shape. Here I just set the shape fill to white and added a shadow effect. I then added the remaining notes, but I used a table this time and placed the term and the definition here. Adjust the font and font color of the text and set the table style you want. For the last header I will be using, I added here some ideas you want to include on the notes and use a table where I can place the terms and definitions. Adjust the table size and I will place it beside the header one. I set the table to no border option. And then I added a shape that will serve as a divider. And going back to the title, I duplicated these shapes again and placed them on the other side. I then adjusted the text format where I placed the subject and the date. Next is, this is optional but if you want to add a dotted page design background, you can click on the link below and download the PDF file or download the image format on the Google Drive I provided. Add it to Microsoft Word and adjust the wrap text option to place the photo behind the text. Adjust it and you can also fix the color correction if the dots are too dark. You can also add some highlighters and as you can see here on MS Word, there are only limited choices of highlighter colors. So what you can do instead is to pick a color from the shading option. Repeat this process by highlighting a text or a sentence, click on it, click the shading option, and choose the color you want to apply. And this is what it looks like. You can now save them and print your notes. And yes, that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and see you on my next video. Bye, guys.